Curve fitting. What is curve fitting? The process of finding the best fit curve for a given set of data is known as curve fitting. Here, we represent the relationship between two variables by means of an algebraic equation. The types of questions that are asked are either fitting of linear curves or fitting of quadratic curves or fitting of exponential and logarithmic curves. In this video, we'll see examples on how to fit a straight line to the given data, that is, fitting of linear curves. The straight line to be fitted to the data can be either y is equal to a plus bx or x is equal to a plus by. So, the normal equations for y is equal to a plus bx are sigma y is equal to n a plus b sigma x and sigma x y is equal to a sigma x plus b sigma x square. And the normal equations for x is equal to a plus by are sigma x is equal to n a plus b sigma y and sigma x y is equal to a sigma y plus b sigma y square. So here, by solving these normal equations, we'll get the values of a and b, which will be the best values of a and b. And after sub substituting the values of a and b in this equation, y is equal to a plus bx, or if we are fitting this line, x is equal to a plus by, then we'll get the best fitting straight line. So, let's see one example. Fit the line of best fit to the following data. So, here we have 6 values, which means n will be equal to 6. Then, the next step is we'll have to make a table. There will be 4 columns. First column for x, second column for y. Third, third column will be for x square and the last column for x, y. So this is the table. Here, the values of x and y are given to us. To find out x square, it will be square of x, which is 0 square 0, 5 square 25, 10 square 100, 15 square 2 to 5, 20 square 400, 25 square 625 and the values of x, y will be obtained as 0 into 12 which will be 0, 5 into 15 so 75, 10 into 17 so 170, 15 into 22 which is 330, 20 into 24 that is 480 and 25 into 30 that is 750. The next thing we'll have to do is to find out sigma x. So sigma x is coming out to be 75, then find sigma y, which is coming as 120, sigma x square is coming out to be 1375, and sigma x y is equal to 1805. See, here in the question, it was not mentioned that which straight line you have to fit. So, I am taking the straight line to be fitted to this data as y is equal to a plus bx. So, the normal equations for this are Sigma y is equal to Na plus B sigma x 
and the other equation is sigma x y is equal to a sigma x plus b sigma x square. So we have the value of sigma y which is 120 n is 6 into a plus sigma x the value of sigma x is 75 so 75 into b this will be our first equation and the second equation so sigma x y which is 1805 is equal to sigma x which is 75 into a plus b into sigma x square so sigma x square is 1375 into b so this will be our second equation you can solve both these equations very easily on your calculator and even I'll create a separate video on how to solve equation using calculator so now on solving both these equations we get the value of a and b as a is equal to 11.28 and b is equal to 0.7 So substituting these values in the equation y is equal to a plus bx we get y equal to 0.7x plus 11.28 so this is the best fitting straight line to the given data let's see one more example fit a straight line to the following data taking x as the dependent variable see here in the question it is mentioned that take x as the dependent variable which means the straight line to be fitted to this data is x equal to a plus by as here x will be the dependent variable and y will be the independent variable so the normal equations will be sigma x equal to na plus b sigma y and sigma x y equal to a sigma y plus b sigma y square so our next step is to make a table in this table the first column will be x second column will be y third column will be for y square and the last column x y the values of x and y are given then find the values of y square which will be square of y so 1 square is 1 2 square 4 4 square 16 4 square 16 5 square 25 7 square 49 8 square 64 9 square 81 then to find out x y it will be x into y the next step is to find sigma x sigma x is equal to 56 then sigma y is equal to 40 sigma y square it is equal to 256 and sigma x y is equal to 364 sigma x is equal to n a plus b sigma y and sigma x y is equal to a sigma y 
प्लस बी सिग्मा वाई स्क्वायर सो वी हैव गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा एक्स एस फिफ्टी सिक्स एन एन इज एट सो एट ए प्लस बी सिग्मा वाई सिग्मा वाई विच इज फोर्टी सो इट विल बी फोर्टी बी एंड सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यूज इन द नेक्स्ट इक्वेशन वी हैव सिग्मा एक्स वाई एस थ्री सिक्सटी फोर सो थ्री सिक्सटी फोर इज इक्वल टू ए सिग्मा वाई ए इंटू सिग्मा वाई विच इज फोर्टी प्लस बी सिग्मा वाई स्क्वायर सिग्मा वाई स्क्वायर इज टू फिफ्टी सिक्स सो टू फिफ्टी सिक्स बी सो आर इक्वेशंस विल बी एट ए प्लस फोर्टी बी is equal to fifty six and forty a plus two fifty six b is equal to three sixty four so on solving both these equations on calculator we'll get A is equal to minus point five, and B equal to one point five. Substituting these values in our equation, x is equal to a plus b y. We get x equal to minus point five. Plus one point five y. So x is equal to minus point five plus one point five y is the best fitting straight line to the given data. In the next video, we'll see fitting of quadratic curves. Thank you.